Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. Today we've got some shot darts and we've got the Zen Juji. They're hoping you're going to send it yourself and get some really consistent darts with these. They've got a fairly decent looking grip, bright pink, but uh, all I can say is we're going to have to go and have a throw and see what we think. Okay, we're over here with the Zen Juji darts, showing this bright, vibrant pink packaging with almost a spirograph pattern going across it there, really standing out. We got the shot logo and the window showing the full setup of the dart and that lotus flower really showing through. And we had the 24 gram steel tip in 80% tungsten. And these ones come with the aluminum shafts and 100 micron flights. And over on the back, Obviously, we have the little write up there that Shot likes to give all their darts like a little story. But we'll get to this in a second. We've got the Zen Juji with the spiral graph logo y sort of thing behind it. Shot dart logo and a little bit about Shot there going back to 1970. And the genuine product logo. With all of Shot's darts, we have the lifetime barrel guarantee. This covers the materials and the manufacturing, not if you lose your temper and decide to throw them against the wall or out the window, run over them with the dart or anything silly we do when we lose a match. And obviously a little warning there saying about these aren't toys, children should be supervised. And obviously our story as we get into it. Abide and maintain. This is the Juji philosophy with this pocket rocket 80 percent tungsten barrel at your fingertips you cannot miss in rose bomb pct coating with a crescent wave grip for effortless release juji's power is distilled into the balance point this mighty dart short length and front weight lets it all so it's self correct in flight to hit the dartboard straight and true practice try again keep it up You'll surely achieve remarkable things through dedication and perseverance. So this is sort of like they're sort of like aiming this as a starter dart, really, so you can find out where to hold and throw the dart. But we'll have a look at them when they come out of the box and see what we think. And here we go. We have this foam insert that Shot likes to use, showing the full setup dart and two extra barrels either side. Then obviously we've got the two extra aluminium shafts and the extra flight sat there. Let's get this one out and have a close look. And well, let's have a look. We've got a nice standard matte black point at the front going into this tapered conical nose that's got to like extra rings milled into it in this beautiful pink coating. Going back into this fairly grippy grip that's almost like a ring grip and a concave grip, that, which is a bit reminiscent of the purest, I suppose. Um, and then we've got five sections of that, each separated by this deeper pink milled groove there. Really stands out as looking really grippy. And then we go back into the taper here, where we've got like a twin ring grip. Again, it's not as grippy at the back, but it's still a throw point and it's a nice little push point. And then we go into an aluminium stem and the lotus flower flight. I can say by feeling this, it's starting to feel quite grippy. It's quite a wide dart as it's 80%. And the measurements, as I see, are 7.8 millimeters at the widest point here, which is quite wide. And they are 47 millimeters long. So they're not the shortest of darts. So you've got couple of good little grip sections there if you're wanting to practice different throws which is really good and again this sort of like grip here is like a rolling grip um like i said it's sort of like two tones so like square cut and almost concave so it's going to be interesting to have a throw but we'll get over to the board and see how we get on okay we're over the board with the zen juji darts going to sort of center ourselves here with the uh, lotus flower flights Aluminium shafts, might want to swap those out. As you know, they tend to come loose metal on metal unless you've got those little rubber rings to go on there. But they've got a nice front grip, ring grip at the back. Bomb-shaped darts, so they're a little bit thicker than I'm used to. I'm used to a thinner dart. But uh, we'll have a couple of practice throws, see how we get on, and then go into our 201 practice routine. So we're going to centre ourselves and have a throw. Steady straight. 
Oh, a nice steady ton there to start. Putting a little bit with my thumb, but hopefully we can correct that. Oh, a little bit of a loose release. Last one went nice and straight. Taking a little bit of getting used to, but 30 will do after a ton. Right, let's get into our 201 practice routine. Game on. Oh, we've got a steady 60 to start. 141 left to get. Pulled it down. Another steady 60. 81 left to get. And in three darts, can't moan at that. Nine darts, I think. Not too bad. Could have done a bit better. I was pulling it a little bit. My thumb kept catching between the two grips because I'm used to holding at the back. But as I said, they're a bomb-shaped dart, so they're front-weighted. Good starter dart, I'd say. But we'll go and have a review, see what we think. Okay, we've had a throw of these. I didn't do too bad. Nine darts, steady 60s with an 81 finish. Could have done better, but uh, not the greatest dart for myself. I like a parallel sort of dart, and these are a, more of a bomb torpedo shape. They are 80% tungsten, so they're a bit wider. Um, as I said at the start, we've got the measurements in there. Um, price for these, 56.23. You might be thinking that's a bit high, but you've got to think, they're a good quality dart. They're coming a long distance as well to get to this country. And really 80% tungsten, 56.23. It's a mid price point. I think you're all right there. But it's a good dart, really. Um, it's going to be good for somebody starting out because you've got a couple of grips there. You've got a good push point. You've got a flat area. And you can play about with your throw, which is always a really good thing. Um, I gave these a 3.5 grip rate, and I did find them fairly grippy. Not the grippiest of darts, but you got to think, as they're wider, you're going to be gripping it that little bit more. Um, these come in 23, 24, and 26 gram. We had the 24 gram ones, which is the mid-weight. Um, I'm used to 22s, 23s, so these were a little bit heavier, but... As you saw, I didn't throw too bad with them. I was consistent. And I did like the feel of them. I just kept catching between the um, grips, which pulled it slightly. Um, but if you agree with me, disagree, if you've got a set of these coming, or if you've even got them already, why not head over to YouTube or dartsreviews.tv. Let us know what you think. If you disagree with anything I've said as well, let us know. I like criticism. And the other thing, download the app or even tick subscribe or tick the notifications so you know about any reviews coming up in the future. It might be something of interest to you and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.